tell you that moose are beasts, and I speak from experience, because an uncle of mine had one as a pet. This black bear takes this moose calf into the forest as if it were a toy. Although the moose was a young calf, the way the bear carried it was unbelievable, and all this happened under the watchful eyes of the helpless mother. Most animal mothers will risk their lives to protect their offspring, even more so than human mothers. They will stand their ground against powerful predators and fight them tooth and nail, so they don't get to their babies. However, when this moose mother tries to kick the wolf that's trying to snatch her calf, she kicks her calf in the head instead, knocking the little guy out cold in the process. The poor calf can't get back up, and the wolf hasn't finished attacking, Mom keeps defending and even tries to stomp on the wolf but misses. It looks like the calf is back up and safe, so Mom did her job like a real pro. Moose no longer had the strength to protect her calf. This bear made a kill in the forest. The bear took advantage of the situation and killed the calf. In this video, a moose and her calf are ambushed by a bear and a wolf. The bear is taken head on by the moose as the wolf can be seen running past them to chase the calf, but we don't see the outcome. When bears are young and juveniles, they know how to track down and kill moose. They're also used to hunting and killing mature moose. However, we must not dismiss a fully grown moose because it can kill a bear with a well-timed kick or with its antlers. Our thumbnail is hilarious, as we see a huge moose walking out of the forest to greet three bears. One of the bears is standing, most probably to intimidate the moose, while another bear can be seen running away from the moose, and the third bear watches from a distance. Only Goldilocks is missing. In this video, an ambitious bear can be seen gallivanting towards a moose and her two calves. When mom notices the bear, she mock charges the animal, and it works but the bear does not give up and continues to follow the single mom and her calves. Mom turns around and keeps an eye on the bear, mock charging it again. When mom and her calves finally reach some sort of resting area, the bear shows up and she charges again, forcing the bear to relinquish. Mom and the calves continue their trek on the road before cutting back towards a small stream, as the bear can be seen tracking their scent to find them, but to no avail. In this video, some dogs are annoying a full-grown moose, but they must be extra careful, because if one of the dogs is struck by the massive animal, it can be fatal. This is not an animal domestic dogs should be messing around with. A big bull moose is looking for a fight as he roams the sagebrush flats of Grand Teton National Park in an early winter snowstorm. Shiras's moose congregate on the sage flats of Jackson Hole in early winter and feed on bitterbrush, an important food source at this time of year. Male moose frequently engage in violent conflict for either females or territory they believe contains fertile females. And as it turns out, one moose using his antlers to gore the other moose isn't the point. It's an effort to prove his superiority by exerting greater force. The first to get the other out of the way wins. These two are going at it hard on the side of a mountain road. They are pushing into each other and ramming their antlers into one another when they can. As they go through shrubs, bushes, and small roads to see which of the two will be declared champion of the world. The mother of a newborn moose attempts to intervene when a pack of wolves attack her calf, but I believe it's too late. Even when the mother attacks, the wolves kill the young moose. They simply avoid being trampled by the mother's powerful legs and proceed to devour the calf. The large moose comes back multiple times to defend her calf, but she is unsuccessful. Although experts have seen coyotes attack and successfully take down adult sheep and deer, a moose would seem impossible. Always the opportunists, coyotes will harass and test for weaknesses of any animal regardless of size. Calves are extremely vulnerable if not protected. This exchange of mutual harassment onlookers witnessed is a preview of what to expect should wolves return to the area. The coyotes are a nuisance but they don't pose any problems for this big mama moose as she chases them away. 
In this video, a drone captures a moose cooling off in the water, when suddenly, a wolf runs out from the forest to attack the large animal. The moose protects itself by stomping on the wolf in the water, as the wolf latches onto one of the moose's leg and refuses to let go. The moose tries to shake off the predator but can't seem to. The wolf finally lets go to take a breather, but the hunt isn't over yet. The moose makes a run for it, but it is exhausted as the wolf chases it in the water. The stamina of the wolf is mind-boggling as it sees its chance and accelerates, but the depth of the water saves the moose as it slowly swims away. This encounter was entirely unexpected, and he only had about 30 feet to work with by the time the chase turned towards his beach. He moved quickly to give the animal space. It's hard to tell how much he may have interfered, as two of the smaller wolves had already turned their tail before he stood up, after the moose mom aggressively stomped at them in deep water. It's crazy to think about a wolf pack hidden in that tree line quietly moving into position around a moose and her calf in the monotone twilight of the pre-dawn out waterfall. The moose swims away and manages to keep itself at a safe distance of the bear. The bear eventually seems to lose interest and leaves the moose alone. When some wolves spot a moose mom and her calf on a riverbank, they try to figure out a way of snatching the calf, but mom is huge and she won't let them close to the little guy without putting up a fight. The wolves decide it's too risky and swim off to the other side. When a dog dares defy an adult moose, the moose comes charging like a bull, but the dog is quick enough to escape, and it's lucky to do so because it would have been killed had the moose rammed into it with its antlers. When a huge moose spots a domestic cat standing in its way, it doesn't attack it, but it keeps walking towards the feline, forcing it to move out of its way. As the moose keeps marching forward, the cat keeps walking away from it, until the large animal finally stops and takes a bite of some fresh greens. A fight between two moose was recently captured on video in a quiet suburb of Anchorage, Alaska. Male moose tend to be more aggressive during this time of year, their annual rut cycle, when they spend virtually all their energy looking for females to impress and make shenanigans are a semi-regular occurrence in these hills. It's a real-life cartoon. Dogs chase the moose off the screen one way and then, the moose chases the dogs across the other way, and it goes back and forth this way. But this interaction almost gets ugly. The moose nearly connects on a kick to the little black dog's head at the end of the video. If it had landed the kick, it would have pretty much been game over for the dog. You may be saying to yourself, my God, those dogs are the worst behaved dogs in the world. While some would agree, they were just defending their master. When a moose trespassed onto private property, its first target was the family dog. But once the dog ran for the hills, the moose immediately headed the other way, back into the forest until it returned, only to hang around at a distance as onlookers watched attentively to see what its next move was going to be. One is called Left Hook, and the other, 22. Left Hook finally returned to the valley and planted himself in 22's territory. Onlookers could see 22 a half mile away, bedded. He got up and started his slow, deliberate walk, grunting the entire way audible across the valley despite the raging creek waters. He turned and headed toward onlookers. They knew Left Hook was somewhere in the hemlocks after a cow, but were waiting in a clearing in case he came out again. 22 started wagging from downhill, and then from the hemlocks came Left Hook, also wagging. Left Hook stopped the rake, and onlookers knew this could erupt. After jockeying for safe positioning, Onlookers were able to capture this amazing footage from two slightly different angles. It's the kind of thing one tends to watch a few times to appreciate the power and nuances as these massive animals go at it. When two adult moose meet in a small waterhole, they decide to go at it as their antlers clash and the animals push each other to claim victory and watching the vehicle in its way. And when it got fed up, it tried to stomp on the car whose driver drove in reverse immediately. 
The moose population in Canada ranges between 500,000 and 1 million, and the damage they can cause to vehicles is severe. If possible, people should avoid driving during high-risk periods. Accidents are more likely to occur one hour before and after dusk and dawn, in October and November, and on two-lane highways. Another angry moose confronts a car on a secluded road in the middle of winter, and when the moose begins to stomp its legs on the ground, the driver puts the car in reverse. Once the moose doesn't consider the vehicle a threat anymore, it calms down. Two moose can be seen fighting for a female right off a local walking trail in Anchorage, Alaska. Their antlers are impressive, and they use them to their fullest extent. The moose in this video is doing a job on this car as it scratches the side of the vehicle with its antlers. It's as if the animal is upset with the owner and is taking its revenge. The two moose in this video do not like each other but they can't go full out because a fence separates them. Wildlife vehicles are parked on the side of the road as officers prepare to capture the moose and return the animal back into the forest. Two moose find themselves in a residential neighborhood but it doesn't stop them from going at it, as the fight moves from one yard to another and back onto the road. One of the animals eventually rams into his opponent and pushes hard enough to make him flee. A mailman gets front row seats to a fight between two bull moose in a residential area. After pushing his opponent onto the grass, the winning moose walks away, while the loser watches him celebrate his victory. A bear is spooked by a vehicle, just when it tries killing a moose calf on a road, but when he sees his prey almost getting away, he runs back towards it to grab it again, always watching the vehicle approaching as he's doing it. I didn't know bears could multitask this well. Moose are quite active during the rut. Bulls battle mate and dig rutting pits. Cows rummage in pits are chased by bulls and feet. The rut abruptly stops by the end of the first week of October and moose return to their lifestyles of feeding and resting as they prepare for winter. In this video, winter has already settled in, as these three amigos can be seen going for a jog in the forest. Adult moose protect themselves with their antlers or hooves against predators such as bears and wolves. Predators have an easier time taking down the much smaller calves and many of them die before reaching their first birthday. While bulls do damage and even kill one another during bouts, most of the time it is due to antler goring, fractured bones, or extensive internal bleeding. Locking antler death is uncommon in moose, and when it does occur, bulls frequently tangle both antlers head-on and die from dehydration or malnutrition. I'm not sure how these bulls got into this countdown, but I guess they didn't want the moose to get all the attention. A huge black bull rams into a smaller black bull as the two fight in front of the herd. Since we just saw a bull fight another bull, it made me wonder what animal between a moose and a bull would win a fight, so I did a little research and found out the following. Moose are larger, yet they weigh roughly the same as a bull. They are more adapted to cold conditions, with antlers meant to grapple other moose. In such a fight, the bull would charge the moose and impale its chest on impact, effectively ending the moose's life. The moose is the largest of the deer species. A mature bull can stand up to two meters tall at the shoulder, which is the same height as some professional basketball players. Moose have large muscles, yet their legs are long and slender, allowing them to move over heavy snow in the winter and wade in ponds and lakes to hunt for plants in the spring and summer. Most moose have a bell, a patch of fur-covered skin around 30 centimeters long that hangs from their throats. They are excellent swimmers. Swimming allows moose to avoid biting insects such as mosquitoes and to cool themselves in the summer. Despite its massive size and broad antlers, the moose can walk through the forest quietly. Moose have weak eyesight, but they compensate with a keen sense of smell and hearing. Bull moose have massive antlers that can reach 1.5 meters in length. Antlers begin to grow in summertime and are fragile and spongy first, 
When the antlers have completely matured in late August or early September, they are hard and bony ideal for jousting as bulls compete for mates. Two bulls settle their differences on the side of a road as they push and shove each other, using their large antlers to destabilize their opponent. But from here, this fight looks even to me. These two bulls study one another for a few seconds before engaging, but once they decide to engage, they fight to win. Bull moose are well-armed fighters. They are quite powerful, weighing up to 1,600 pounds. Their shoulders are massive and their neck 